Welcome to Take Action and Get Profits with Michelle Sism, where entrepreneurs come together to discuss business growth strategies, marketing ideas, techniques, and tips. Brought to you by the Tough Talk Radio Network. Now here's your host, Michelle Sism. All right, well, welcome to the show, and guess what? It's not Michelle. This week, you have the pleasure of having me, Tony Gambone. Uh, I am the founder of Tough Talk Network and also the host of a couple of other shows we have in the network on Tough Talk Radio Network. So if you've never heard me before, you're hearing me now, and I can surely tell you that I'm nowhere as good as Michelle. She sounds better, looks better, and it's all the way around better. But Michelle's traveling today. She's actually uh, speaking. Uh, Michelle travels a lot, as uh, her listeners know. Usually she has one of her staff come on and do a show, but after a lot of begging and pleading, I got the pleasure of her saying yes so that I could be the one on the show today. Now, I'm not going to go through a long monologue because I'm really excited about the first couple uh, that we have up. And it is a couple, a husband and wife. They're um, doctors. and they're Well, I, I think the easiest way for me to describe it is through relationship coaches. And for those of you that follow my show, you know that it's all about the relationship. And if in your mind you're trying to do something and relationship isn't in the top three bullet points of what you're doing, revisit it, okay, because you're missing something really important there. So I'm real excited about that, and we'll get them in a second. You can find the show on uh, toughtalkradionetwork.com or you can go to Take Action, Get Profits with Michelle Sism.com. Register to be a guest on the show. Uh, you can find out more about Michelle Sism by going to DecisiveMinds.com as well. You can find her on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. All you have to do is type in Michelle Sism, and she'll pop up in your Google search. She's everywhere. She just won a few awards a couple weeks ago. Super excited about her being one of our hosts here on the Tough Talk Radio Network. 347-989-1363 is the call-in number. You can email me, Tony, at Tony Gambone to talk to me during the show. You can hit us up on Twitter at TTR Network, okay? Let me repeat that, TTR Network. And, hey, folks, you know, we're always looking for people to bring their own show to the airwaves. Is that something you've ever thought about? Are you getting your message out there? Are you being heard? Do you do a podcast? Do you do Internet radio? Are you running out of time? Do you need help with it? Hey, contact us. That's what we do best. We help you get your process seen, heard, all around the world, okay, without having to create new jobs during your day. Also, we're looking right now for a couple of people to come in and write their chapters in a compilation book that Tough Talk Radio Network is doing, and it's all about sharing your message, right? People don't care about what you do until they understand who you are and how you got to where you are. So if you're someone out there that's got a great story or is willing to empower others by the journey you've traveled in your life, contact us here at Tough Talk. We'd love to talk to you. We're going to take a commercial break, okay, and we're going to come back and we're going to talk to uh, Dr. Janelle and, um, oh, just went blank, Dr. Rob and Janelle Alex, okay, and they are mentoring couples around the universe. So, you know, relationship, this isn't for the husband and wife, the boyfriend and girlfriend. It's for the partners in business, and it's for a parent and their children. Uh, it's for the neighbors in your neighborhood. It's for everyone. So make sure to uh, get a pile of water, grab a piece of paper, get your pen ready. We're going to come back here in a second. We're going to talk more with them here, so stay tuned. If you know someone who wants the legal A-team on their side, have them call on Altenburn and Associates, the legal eagle today. David Altenburn is an experienced and recognized top lawyer in Houston who will put an eagle's eye to protecting the client's best interests at all times. For any personal injury, family law, or business law concern, Altenburn and Associates can help with our connections that count and make a difference for great results. We work hard for the justice our clients deserve, earning client trust and opponent respect, one case at a time. For legal help, call 281-904-6330 today. Did you know that an estimated 52 million Americans listened to Internet radio in the last month, or that weekly Internet radio audience has increased 
60% over the last year, and that more than 8 in 10 people are online from any location. Tough Talk Radio Network is a company dedicated to providing a platform that allows opportunities for guests, hosts, and sponsors to market themselves to the internet radio media where they can be heard by millions. To find out how Tough Talk Radio Network can help you, go to toughtalkradionetwork.com. Working hard but not making money? Are you ready to finally start being paid what you are worth? Learn how business strategy coach Michelle Sism and her clients are creating six-plus figure businesses. Check out Michelle Sism's free video series where she reveals her step-by-step strategy for creating consistent cash flow in your business. You can learn more at HighlyPaidAuthority.com. Okay, welcome back to Take Action, Get Profits with Michelle Sism. Hey, if you missed the beginning of the show, okay, don't change the channel because this is the right show. It's just a different host. My name is Tony Gambone. I'm the guest host today. And I'm uh, super excited about the first guest, Dr. Rob and Janelle Alex. Uh, As I mentioned earlier, they're mentoring couples around the universe. Uh, They host a podcast and uh, they've written some books. They've done a lot of things. I want to bring them up because I have a ton of questions for them. So let's welcome uh, Dr. Rob and Janelle Alex to the show. Thank you, Tony. We're happy to be here. Hey, Tony. Glad to be here. Well, I'm excited. As we talked before the show, uh, you know, I get to produce the shows and train people how to do the shows, listen to the shows, but sometimes a guest comes up on a different show that's not on one of my shows, and I get really excited because it always (laughs) seems to be something that I just got done speaking about. And relationship to me, running networking, business networking groups uh, here in the state of Texas, is a huge, huge conversation I'm having with people all the time. Because as you guys know, uh, no one grows their business from billboard ads anymore or, you know, well, it's done completely different and it's done all the way around the world, but it all starts with the relationship. So I want to jump into those questions quickly, but before we do that, I want to find out where you're calling in from, where are you from originally? Uh, well, originally we're from Indiana, uh, central Indiana. I'm born and raised, both of us, um, in the same small town. Um, of course, we didn't meet each other until I was 30, I think. Yeah. Anyway, that's a, that's a love story. But <laughs> And now we're coming to you from Colorado Springs, Colorado, beautiful Colorado Springs. Nice. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, isn't that funny? You guys grew up in the same town and never met until you were, you know, 20-some years into your life. Yeah, uh, that's that, that's crazy. Well, yeah. our families knew each other. Yeah, it is crazy because we lived in a small town of less than 10,000 people. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we knew between the two of us, we know so many people because we had those amazing relationships like you were talking about mm-hmm. based on our businesses and things we've done in the past. And just our paths have never crossed in that yeah. in that situation. My my dad was excited when I started dating Rob because he was like, I know him, basically. He's like, he's a good boy or whatever. <laughs> you know, like, we're like 30-something, but anyway, yeah. So, <laughs> it's a funny little story. but <laughs> that, That's what dads do. I mean, yeah, yeah. that is what they do. So, okay, so um, you guys are, are co-founders of Mission Date Night and also uh, directors of, of Federation of Relationship Bliss. Let's let's talk about this. Um, you guys found each other a little bit later on in you know you just out of your teenage years, right? But how did you get into this? You know, teaching couples. Oh, you, wow. uh, were you awarded? No, were you awarded like the best couples <laughs> award? <laughs> No, no. I mean, you know, we, well, actually, Rob and I have both been married, mind you, to other people for 10 years each, and then we got divorced from those people, and then we found each other. So we know what it's like to have a successful relationship, which we've been married right at 13 years now to each other, um, as well as we know what it's like to fail at one um, for what, you know, various different reasons, right? So, and we've been entrepreneurs forever. (laughs) Um, Well, and I think, you know, one of the big things is we went through, um, a financial struggle when we were early on in our relationship and instead of that driving a wedge between us we found a way that that could make us closer and we relied on each other and we created a better relationship than we ever had before Mm -hmm. that situation happened 
and it got us thinking, you know, there's got to be more to this. You know, couples are missing a lot of the things that relationships have for them, and we wanted to bring that to the forefront and, you know, promote that and spread that message and just live it ourselves. Well, and there's so many myths really around relationships. You know, there's that concept that you you get married and then it all kind of goes downhill. <laughs> Or, you know, it's just you you lose the passion, you lose this, that, and the other. Um, And so there's so many things that, um, as our relationship grew and changed over the years and and got better and better, because we did have rough spots, um, but as we learned how to get through all those beautifully, um, then, yeah, we did. We wanted to help other people say, wait a minute, this works as well. But because we have owned businesses together for, what, 10 years? Yeah. 11 years, something like that, together even, um, we wanted people to understand that it does have a, a great, when you have a great relationship, um, a romantic relationship, it has an amazing impact on your business life as well. So, yeah, that's, that's a big passion for us. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you, my wife and I have been together for 24 years, oh, and great we have career. been working yeah, I mean, and, okay, so I'm going to cough up the dirt, too. I, this is my fourth <laughs> marriage. So, okay. you know, I was a little bit slower than Rob. It took me a little bit longer to get it, but I got it. And once I grabbed <laughs> a hold of it, it's been an awesome opportunity. But we've been working together since I met her. Uh, mm-hmm. Way back in the casino days, I was her instructor and then her her boss. And, you know, so she's been telling me what to do for about 23 and a half years. <laughs> but the thing of it is, We work together all day long, side by side. We hang out Mm -hmm. together all the time. Are you guys in that type of situation as well? Um, For the most part. I mean, we have separate offices in the house, if you will. (laughs) I mean, we're very very close in that situation. So, you know, even though our offices are apart, there's constantly one or the other of us coming out of our office, going into the other one's office to talk, you know. I, and I relate it to that water cooler type mentality. We're constantly going to each other, either bouncing off ideas off of each other or, you know, saying, how does this sound? You know, so we are very close in that situation. Well, I'm, we're working on a new book. So this morning I went to Rob and I said, hey, because I have been writing it, but of course, you know, we've had those conversations about, which is the communication and part of that relationship. We need to say, wait a minute, what do we want in this? And I want to make sure his voice is coming, obviously, out in it as well. Um, so after I took his notes and then wrote and, and merged it all together, then I go, wait a minute, go read what I've written and see how that feels to you. So it, it, it's really great for an audience concern because we're right here, but yet we are also quite comfortable with having space on our own. If we want to go do something on our own, that's okay. Uh, because we know we need to keep maintain our individuality as well, so that we when we come back together so often, <laughs> we still have those different things to talk about. Well, so my wife and I, I, I really feel blessed because I, I just she's my best friend, right? And a lot of people, a lot of couples that I meet, you know, I mentioned we do networking, so we meet an individual in a networking setting, they might get together with the, them and their spouse, and their spouse might work in corporate. They're in two different worlds. It just never seems like there's a common thread there other than children. Do you meet a lot of people like that, and is that like the niche that you work with? Um, well, you know, for one thing, I mean, we did, um, which we just re-released it here a couple months or so ago, a month ago, something like that. Yeah. But we just, we last year, last year, we put a book together where we interviewed 22 other entrepreneurial couples, and 98% of those couples actually work together and own a company together. Um, so the, some of the common threads we found with them were that they are best friends, um, they have a spiritual connection, whatever that spiritual piece is for them, um, and there was a variety in the amazing couples that we interviewed. Uh, so there were, there were a number of things there, really honoring and respecting each other. Um, we do love to work with couples that are, are in that niche, if you will, but that's not like the only people that we work with as far as that goes. Right. So, right. Um, but however, yes, there are so many couples that – they do. They really they lose some of the connection between them because when they're so busy working, uh, you know, outside of the home and for other companies, it is hard. It's absolutely challenging. Um, it's got its own set of challenges. 
um, just as working together has its been challenging. Well, I, and I think couples that work together have a better understanding of how to um, argue and get over fights and things like that because they do have to work together. So there's there's times that they don't agree on things, and they in the business world they.